friend this is sanjay kumar creator of selector sub in this tutorial i will show you how to use selector sub on safari browser so the first question is what is selector sub if you are not aware selector sub is the next gen xpath and css selector tool for, for safari browser and it is the very first xpath and css selector tool for safari it's available for all other browser absolutely and this is a free community product which is available free for all other browsers it runs on a uh, users donation and patron uh, and on sponsorship on safari browser i had to make it i had to put it under in app purchase the reason because apple doesn't allow as per the apple policy we can't add the donation link or patron link on app store so to receive any kind of uh, donation or something we will have to use in app purchase so that is the reason but don't worry like it is not even a one dollar per month cost it is less than one dollar per month so that actually all the patron used to pay and uh, by default all the safari browser users will be the selectors of patron so let's see how can we use it it's very simple if you have ever used any safari extension then uh, it's uh, similar like that only so just go to uh, open uh, safari browser go to selectorsub.com here you will find all the download links and this one is for safari click on this either you can go it from here or directly open your app store and search for selectorsub so uh, there it will open if you are uh, installing first time selectorsub you will get uh, i mean you will have the get button over here like you have for other if you have ever installed before you will get this cloud so this you will have to click on this to download this and install this one and here you will get all the details related to like what's in the new version and uh, what are the features all those details and how secure it is so this is ab absolutely secure and safe tool it doesn't save any of your user data or anything it runs only on your local so you did not to worry about it about security you can absolutely use on all the web website and everywhere and here you will get all the details like in a purchase and anything after installing it so uh, like whenever you install any extension on a safari browser so it has little bit different functionality from from the other browser by default you will not get the extension logo here uh, on other browser you used to get on right side on safari here it is on the left side so here you will not get by default the extension logo you will have to click on open here so it will open the uh, selector sub app let me close this so here you will see that it will open the selector sub app this is the app and uh, you are still not able to find it here in this app you will find these two tabs are here subscription plan and home so let's first uh, click on home and then uh, quit and open safari extension preferences here it will open like this you will have to enable this one here so enable this so it will ask for the security so just allow it once you have enabled this one here you can now we can close this and here you will get the logo but you see when uh, this is like uh, the selectors of logo is yet looks like dull and disabled so click on this when you will click on this it will ask you the extension selectors of would like to access this website so uh, basically like because this is an xpath and selectors tool so it, it requires the access for the dom because it has to generate the xpath for any web element or anything uh, through the dom so that is the reason it requires the access but at, as i have already showed you that this is absolutely secure and it doesn't collect any of your user data any cookie or anything doesn't save anything it doesn't have any server it doesn't have any api in the background which collects your data so this is absolutely safe and secure so i would request you to always allow access on every website so you can allow this and after that it will work like a charm on uh, charm on all the websites so now you can see that you can click on this you will find this enabled everywhere by default actually like you will find uh, you will find this as a disabled here because uh, uh, i have already taken the subscription plan so that is the reason it is showing uh, for me that disabled by default it will be like disabled this button will also always also be disabled so let me show you how you will take this one 
my plan is expiring next month so for the very first month it is free for everyone so you can choose this uh, so select a sub monthly plan here this is just 79 rupees this is INR Indian rupees Indian currency if it is if we convert this as a US dollar it is 0.99 dollar not even one dollar so you click on this subscribe plan and uh, from there you can take it so as I have already uh, taken it so <coughs> not required for me and when you will be taking it it will be uh, by default it will be one month free so you uh, you can enjoy it for one month and if you feel it it is good and it's helping and you want to help the community then you can continue uh, so now we have set up everything selector sub is installed in your browser in your safari browser and we are ready to use it so on safari browser there is a small uh, one limitation is there that uh, like on other browser you might have seen that when you click on inspect and you get the selectors up on the right side here in the dev tools but on safari browser you will not get that because right now uh, safari browser has this limitation that they doesn't allow to add uh, any sidebar tab in the dev tools so that is the one limitation so because of that you will not get it here but i have found something more innovative and very soon we'll launch it for uh, safari that through that you will get the editor as well but for now like you can just right click on any of these elements here let's say we right click on sponsors here and you will get the uh, when you will uh, right click here just let me refresh this page after uh, installing it and everything is uh, done you just uh, restart the browser once and then start like let me just turn it on yes so turn it on just right click on this and you will get the selectors of option here right click now you can copy any of these value like whichever you want whichever x bar css selector you want you can just click on this and you see that we will you will get the best x bar generated over here and uh, like anything you want you want copy uh, like relative x bar css selector js path anything which you want you can just click on that and it will be copied here likewise uh, if you want to change anything in like you don't want all the options in the right click menu like you doesn't want the absolute x path you doesn't want js path now if you right click and you see that you will get only two options over here so this you can customize like just relative css selector you want you can see that you got the relative css selector and on any website and this has incredible feature like if you have anything on inside iframe or inside anything which is inside shadow dom so all those things you will be keep getting over here <coughs> like uh, if any element is inside iframe this will give you the iframe x path as well as the uh, like uh, it will also give you the x path for the uh, what to say shadow uh, means it will let you know the information of the shadow dom or any element if it is svg then also it will give like you this is an svg element if you right click and copy this uh, relative x path it will uh, give you that complete x path for the uh, relative relative x path for that particular element let me show you that value over here if you paste that that value you will get that complete x path for svg with the right syntax not like uh, anything which is failing for uh, which used to fail on uh, on dev tools like here for uh, this element is inside iframe as i know i mean you can of course go and check in the dev tools as well which is like really complicated on safari browser to write if you click this element and right click and copy this x path value here you get those all those information uh, for that particular element and if you try to just write one x path in your safari browser it's really really complicated not like uh, we we do it in <coughs> like on other browser you see that such a small window used to open here and when you will start typing over here anything this is really complicated to be uh, write an x path over here with a uh, like because this is very small window if you have to write a f with x path with following sibling or something like that you uh, means you see that if we write such a long x path which we have generated through x path it is really complicated to generate one write one here then uh, it supports shadow dom as well like if anything which is inside shadow dom you would be able to uh, generate the x path for uh, css selector because those are inside shadow dom so uh, x path is not supported for them so like if you copy relative css selector for this field it will show you that those uh, value like this is uh, CSS selector and uh, 
so all those things you will be getting it uh, perfectly from selectors of like anything so it generates all possible selectors now uh, if we talk about the uh, what other features is it has it has really amazing feature so today like while testing anything we used to uh, we have to write the test case and uh, the manual test uh, i would say like english uh, test cases that what steps we have performed so suppose on google.com here if we uh, if we are testing here and we have to write a test case so in that case selector sub will help you a lot to auto write the english test case for you which you can share with your team with your developer with your testers and ask them like follow these steps to test the functionality and if you get any bug in between then you can refer those steps back so let me show you what i'm talking about all this so you just click click on this selector sub logo here and there's a, a test case studio click on this and now this is on here now see the magic here whatever steps we will perform here let's say we search for selector sub here for safari press enter so whatever we have done so far and then we we'll let's click on this link okay now open this uh, here you see all these steps has been recorded here along with their x path let me just zoom in so you you see that first open website this then click on this we have clicked on that then uh, enter search button enter search on the search bar we have entered selectors of uh, for safari and this is the x path for that hit enter click on then we clicked on that first link this looks like we have clicked on by mistake so this you can delete that so here you see that our test case is ready we got the x path for each steps we got the data for each steps and this is really amazing if you want to uh, share these steps like what are the steps you have followed to uh, generate this bug or uh, to test this feature you can just click on this copy button and paste uh, it to like developer or tester and tell them like look these are the steps i have followed to test this functionality this is the data these are the x path for this now you can save this test case uh, in excel as for future use also uh, if you want if you are writing automation script so you have already got the x path for them you can uh, also append the command so you see that now this is a complete command driver dot find element by dot x path and x path value so here you got that command as well so directly you can open your editor and start writing your automation test case as well and this command could be anything it's not like uh, this is hard coded it could be in any language anything you see that you just, just change the command it comes here and what is the uh, i mean check here is that you have to wherever you have x path in your command just replace that with x path value and then press enter you see that that command is coming here it could be in like uh, selenium it could be cypress it could be like anything like you you are writing in cy.get something like this in cypress then in that case you can use that and of course that uh, it's not x path so here you will uh, if you have written css selector then you can write that uh, just replace that as a x path value keyword wherever is the uh, selector value and you can anytime you can turn it off then you get you will get it back as an x path so there are like lot more feature you can also like if it is generating x path with if you want to like it is generating x path with text but you doesn't want so you can turn it off like those things here those uh, attribute filters are there so you can turn these i mean change these and accordingly it will generate the x path for your next step you can also hide this like you can click and it will be hidden over here if you want to delete or let's say you want to add some steps here let's say thread uh, means you want to add the like sleep wait time here so that you can add one more steps here and then you can like save test case so that will be like proper test case and uh, if you want to delete all these steps you can delete them and you can again start performing your action here and uh, like you can start performing your action and that will be again keep on recording over here like this so open website this one and it start recording those steps so this way it is going to help you a lot and it will saves a lot of time for you and i'm working on this that uh select this up and it will be like you will be keep getting the features really good features and more innovation this is the very first release which i have made it on uh, select uh, safari 
and uh, this is just the beginning a, a lot more features and a lot more improvement is keep coming on selector sub on all the respective browsers of course but yes especially for safari as well and this is the very first uh, xbar tool and it is going to help you a lot in your uh, and it will save a huge amount of time so i hope like this is helping you and please keep supporting keep using it and if any feature or anything you want any improvement you want feel free to connect me with on over slack or uh, any of the social media platform here you will find the like uh, contact details and everything and uh, so uh, feel free to let me know if you have any uh, feedback any comments and please share selectors up not everyone is yet aware about it and they are facing a lot of challenge while writing selectors and uh, writing test cases on safari browsers so it will help them a lot with that thank you thank you so much